city. To prevent further incursions, the military is building a line of fortifications around Qalash's industrial sector. Troopers are busy clearing out the last few insect stragglers from the green zone. Safety, security, and a return to normal life are just around the bend. Normal life, here we come. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so um, some of you might not be familiar with how the game plays, so we'll take the first few minutes to familiarize ourselves with the UI and anything that's happening. Yes. So we've got a few new characters we maybe haven't met before yet. Um, you'll learn more about them as the, when the game comes out. Uh, these are kind of our commanding officers for this mission. As you can see, we've uh, heroically uh, drawn a line That's around the planet that includes most of Kolasha, where the bugs can maybe stay bugs. safe. Um, and we've gone, but however, uh, the PR is maybe fire. not necessarily matching the reality. So we're here to make <laughs> that happen. Okay. Sounds like a plan. Yes. All right, so what can you tell us? Uh, what are we seeing here? So this is a, a, every, pretty much every mission in Starship is you start with a radio base, which is a, kind of your base of operations. Um, here, Edmon has been, a, shall we say, dropped into a hot zone. So he's very quickly calling down uh, new troops to help secure his immediate surroundings. Um, he's using his combat engineers to put down uh, turrets to basically secure his base. Uh, if you look in the minimap in the bottom left, because he holds a very small amount yes, of terrain, yes. and there's a lot of red with lots of big numbers on it, which yes. indicate lots of bug hives with lots of bugs in them. Yes. Um, let's talk about about this base. Uh, you can only build uh, some specific buildings in specific slots. Yes. So it, it, each of you, it, to, to encourage, um, shall I say, collection of the uh, bases around the map, uh, the Federation wisely only kind of built so many building slots in each base. Uh, so specialization is Look the name of the game. Troopers. So here Edmond started out I with access to position. rifle troopers, Mark II troopers and um, combat engineers. Yes. But he needs to go and use his uh, deployment zone uh, back in his base to open up the next level of um, units. So he's pushing forward a bit to try and get forward and secure an outlying area. Awaiting orders. Oh, that's a bug layer. Yes, so those are kind of um, environmental uh, obstacles. They're there to kind of um, little bug hives that you can try and blow up with grenades but, and they'll keep spitting out bugs until you close them but they're not the main bug hives they're the real threats on the map so he needs to kind of, he's doing that to basically buy himself a bit of space a bit of breathing room to build out from uh, but his main problem is that um, his southeast corridor is open uh, so we've got enough, that's why he's building his turrets back there back in the base kind of secure that zone. You know, one of the things I really enjoy about this game is how it always keeps the pressure on the player. Mm. Uh, there's never a, like a, a dull moment in such a trooper's No, No, if you, if you, if you uh, stop, uh, the bugs tend to keep coming. Yes. Um, <laughs> they tend to keep, there's never um, enough bugs really. There's, uh, there's also quite a lot of your guys. So if you want to, the Federation being the Federation, there's always more bodies. It's about using those bodies well. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. So you notice the little pips appearing over these uh, troops' emblems or experience levels. Mm -hmm. Uh, so they're getting better, they're getting better at doing what they do, which is fighting the bug menace. Um, and if you lose them, they're gone, you don't get the experience back. However, if you can keep at least one alive and um, refill that uh, unit with troops from orbit, then you keep that experience level. So that's kind of a lot of the heart of the game, is keeping those experienced troops alive. So how do you get the reinforcements then? So reinforcements are called from orbit. Um, the fleet are up there with lots of ready, eager citizens willing to do their duty, do their part. Um, but you need, you need uh, supplies and war support in order to pull them down. So on the bottom UI there, you can see uh, there's kind of five elements. There's the battle tier, which is kind of how far the battle has progressed and whether uh, your Federation commanders believe it's a serious enough battle to get attention for. Um, he has his deployment slots he's got available, uh, dropships available, and then supply and war support. Mm -hmm. uh, supply is kind of like your soft cap, which people know from other RTFs. That's uh, kind of how many basic bodies you can get out. Uh, whereas more support is for the kind of more sophisticated things like uh, buildings and also some of the more advanced Federation units. Okay. I think this is a good moment to speak about, to talk about terrain elevation. Mm. Uh, as you can see, uh, Edmond just placed some troopers on an elevated terrain. Uh, what's the advantage of that? Uh, so first, first of all, line of sight. If you're up there, you can see that, see what, see what's coming. Um, I, I think Edmond, I think on this map. There's some fun bits later on where you're trying to approach up a slope and bugs are on there, but you can't see them until they suddenly start eating your face. Um, so that's the first thing. Secondly, uh, rate of fire. 
um, everyone on a higher unit gets a bit more rate of fire. And mm -hmm. thirdly, you can fire over troops. That's so th those rifle troopers at the back there, and um, obviously in action now because that bug hole spawned some new guys, um, but you can't shoot through your own soldiers. The Federation tends to frown upon self-inflicted casualties. It's a valuable resource. Um, so it, putting someone on elevation means they can shoot over units with no um, real care about who's in the way. That's very handy. Yes. Uh, yeah, as you can see, Edmund has, has been using quite a few unit abilities. Yes. Uh, each unit uh, you know, has a standard mode of attack, but they also have special abilities. Yes. And he's also just pushed forward and cleared his first bug hive. He's obviously heard our inspirational talk, so he's really <laughs> pushing for it. Um, so the uh, bug hive is just clear. It's kind of like the main bug structure in our game. Uh, the, where bugs come from, where bug attack waves come from, where uh, bug defensive structures are built. Um, so he's now captured a new base here and put in down a, um, a com kind of a comms base, which will allow him to summon the fleet liaison. Which there is we a go. We've not new units. And also he's brought down a couple of rocket troopers because there was a rocket depot attached to that base. Yes. So he's now got a bit of a nice defensive line there on top of that, uh, on top of that uh, wall. But you also have seen a, a new threat appeared, yes. which are tankers and uh, plasma bugs. Yes. Uh, so tankers are basically, the bugs have noticed him, they are mildly annoyed. Uh -huh. um, so they, they will now start spawning tanker bugs and attack waves. Oh, here's like one. This yeah, guy yeah. here, yes. Um, which unfortunately is going to cause his Mark II troopers a few oh, yeah. issues. Oh, I, they appear to be melting. I oh, love that they're animation. They're melting, Edmund. They're melting. Do something. No, that, that's fine. I really love the animation. And <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that we showed that on screen. <laughs> Also, yeah, new threat, hopper box as well. Yes. Oh, by the way, I don't think we have shown plasma bugs before, so that's, a, that's new as well. Yes, so uh, plasma bugs are the ones you've seen recognized from the movies, um, but in this one, they're not just shooting at orbit, they're shooting at you. Um, Makes sense. So on the minimap, you see the kind of big blue zones. Uh, that's kind of the uh, plasma bug range of fire on this map. Mm -hmm. um, if you get in there, they will start dropping big, um, high explosive globs of plasma on you, just to keep you on your toes. Yes. Kind of thing. So he's, everyone's doing all right here, he's uh, pushing forward. Uh, he can put, he's, he's got enough supplies to call down Fleet Liaison if he wanted to, um, which might be a decent shout at the moment. Uh, Fleet Liaisons, like the radio troopers, people... Oh, there we oh, go, there sure. is a part of the problem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He might want to move from there. Yes, oh, and here's some spiffers and some hoppers. Oh, oh dear, people are falling dead. No, no, no. Come on, everyone, you can do it. it. Yeah, yeah. There we he go. made it. He's made it, and he's also yes. avoided a plasma strike. Oh, well done, everyone. Um, Yes, another the, layer. So he doesn't. He's, he's chosen not to go with the radio operator, so he can't uh -huh. summon reinforcements in the field. Otherwise, he'd be able to get some new bodies down to replenish them. those guys who've been killed. Yes. Um, but also, the fleet liaison officer. Not only does uh, she have that ability, she can also call down tax strikes, which are wonderfully uh, devastating. Mm -hmm. Oh, the poor bugs. Yeah. Um, as you remember in the movie, there was quite a bit of rivalry between the mobile infantry and the fleet. Yes. Uh, so the fleet liaison is there to represent that rivalry. Uh, yes. uh, as in, normally the mobile infantry w wouldn't have any kind of uh, support from the air. Yeah, the, the fleet aren't particularly bothered about your boots on the ground. They're worried about the uh, planes in the air. But the fleet liaison acts, acts as a key link between the two. And here she is. Nice. Hello there. There we uh, go. Yes, she, she is unfortunately owned with one uh, Marita pistol. So <laughs> it's probably best to keep her guarded. Well, I do hope that we're going to see some tuck strikes. No, oh, I think um, that zone over there kind of needs... Oh, as you're saying, it's a, he's currently attacking uphill, which is occasionally an issue. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. As you see, the attack, attack strike has rather failed before. No, oh, here's it's a plasma, plasma bug. bug. Hello, plasma bug. Very nice. So it takes a long time for them to recharge, uh, but when they, when they do, it tends to get quite messy. And the, the hive he's trying to attack to is quite a big one as well. So not only are there bugs, like the chariot bugs there, who are trying to defend the plasma bug, Oh, it's a fast strike. Yes, incoming. Come on, Edmond, drop the hammer. There we go. There we go. Boom, boom, boom. Now, the thing is, plasma bugs have quite a lot of armor. <laughs> uh, so he's done, he's, done, he's done a wonderful job there of clearing out the bugs that are guarding the plasma bug. But he'll need to get his rocket troopers in there to finish the deal. Like that. Nice. Um, but she probably needs to get out of there. Come on, Lee, run. There that go. was a close one. That was a close one. So he's doing some high action. He's got some high, good high. There we go. Oh, there we one go. Back down. Good one work. One back down. So there's two other bugs on this map. Yeah. So he needs to go and deal with that. But as we, as you were saying earlier, earlier Alberto, this certainly at this stage of the game, um, Starship Troopers is generally about escalation. Yes. You get better, the bugs get better. Yes. You get more troops, the bugs get more troops. It all just keeps coming. Yes. There's very rarely a moment of peace. 
things will escalate quickly. Pink pieces for the week. <laughs> so actually now I'm kind of pushing on this bug hive. It's quite a dangerous bug hive. The number you can see on the minimap with four indicates there's four sources of bugs. There's another touch strike. Uh, yes, good one, that's one. That's nice more one. like yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. So warrior bugs, less of an, less of an armored unit and uh, eat barrel bomb quite nicely. Um, so he's coming in now, he's, he's trying to get towards that hive center, which is the center of the hive. Um, but this oh, hive yeah, has... one trooper just got dismembered. Oh, but he's got the shotguns that, out. That's fine, that's he's fine. He's got the shotguns out, that's good. Oh, that's probably not so good though. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So he's got to pull in some grenades and calling some um Oh, the Pliquism just them. died. Oh dear, that's a shame. Yeah. And he's got some trouble with the uh, hoppers that you can see flying around uh, suppress your troops. And they don't keep the troops don't like getting hit by hoppers. Uh, so it takes a while for them to react and re-engage. Uh, so he's in. Oh, oh, that's one unit gone. Ah, it's fine. Pressure. They no, died he, in the service of the Federation. They did. It, it was, they, they, were, they were noble lives. They did their duty. Do do. Uh, so he's got throughout some special rockets here. He's uh, specialised his rocket troopers. I think he fire grenades there. Well, he's pushing on. He's, but, however, as you said, they have died in service because they've pulled a lot of the teeth of yes. the hive. Uh, they have pulled a lot of attention. So they're going to try and last this last ditch uh, raid of the hive oh i don't think that went as well as it could have done um, there's a few, a few <laughs> bugs coming left but there's still one trooper left you can save him everyone ah uh, yeah i don't think that uh, uh, he's up. there's one guy come that's on. very close save him come on. you can do come it on, oh he's i think he's gonna do it as well you know i think he's gonna do it oh, oh. so close rip that we unit <laughs> so a little announcement there so new next battle tier unlocked which is Quite exciting for our purposes. The battle tier is the next battle tier is battle tier four. So if Edmond can now find a bit more war support from somewhere, like from clearing a hive and capturing a base, uh, we'll have some fun later on. Oh, but however, I think I think he <laughs> might need to get a new army. I think this army yeah. is not working as healthy as it could. Yes. Time to call for reinforcements. Yes. Regeneration time, Edmond. There we go. So, as we were saying earlier, losing your army is not the end of it. Losing your bases is not the end of it. As long as you've got some sort of foothold on Kualasha, you can get back into the fight. Um, but he, all these guys are now level 1 XP, no special, or very basic special abilities. So he's got to up his game and play better, aren't you, Edmond? <laughs> By the way, you have 20 minutes left. Yes. Then it's court martial time. Yes. No pressure. <laughs> Some pressure. So you can see that he can be able to call down quite a large force, but he only has five dropships available at any one time. So there's a bit of a he can't he can't insta re uh, summon an entire army. You know, that dropship can't move an outside action. So there you go. He's, I think this is looking a bit more like it though. He's got what that two Mark II, some rockets, some rifles, a fleet liaison, and some engineers. I think this this feels much more like a force to me. So his combat engineers he's going to use on the flank. Uh, they 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 can't shoot poppers, but they're very good at close range. So they're very, very good for securing a flank or in a, in a, a choke point. And I think he needs to get some, some extra support up there. Um, the other advantage of the Mark II troopers, which are the um, guys you see in the middle there, is uh, they have underslung grenade launchers. So even if the line of sight is blocked, they can still contribute to the fight by lobbing some rifle grenades up the top. So here we go. This feels like a good one. So you you know, see it, 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 it really feels great when yes. there are all those bots coming at you and just being shot and torn to <laughs> pieces. Uh, it's amazing. So you can see, you saw the Edmond actually, rather than calling down the attack strike, he used the uh, fleet liaison to yes. drop a dropship beacon, which yeah. meant he could uh, summon reinforcements from orbit, which has given him a chance now to basically take a few losses, but then resummon them back, and yeah. uh, keep, them, keep them back in the fight. And yeah. if he can keep that area defended, uh, then he'll be able to basically push out from there and hopefully this bug hive death. Yeah. You know, uh, just to explain something to those players who are more who, who are a bit more familiar with RTS games, this game is really, really, really about micro. Oh yes, it's very much a micro game, not a macro yeah, game. Yeah. Um, there, there is an as you've said, there's a, there's an economy there, um, but it's a it's a starship troopers economy. Um, it's not um, your usual. Um, ha there's no harvesters. There's no drones. Well, there are drones. They're on the other side. Um, <laughs> there's very much about securing access to forces and using those forces well. Um, Edmond is, uh, from looking at his hand, he's playing with a very high sensitivity mouse. He's barely moving, he's in full leech player mode now, right now, I think. So there we go. So, he's, so you can see from the markers there, Edmond's cleared the bugs out of the main hive. Um, he's cleared the bugs out of that first tunnel, but I think they're about to come back. 
There we go. Um, so he's just got to clear those last few pips of bugs down. Oh, they're going to make it. Oh, I think they got, oh, they they got pushed back. Didn't quite make it. Um, but he can go and get down a, uh, uh, a drop zone and keep people up. Pull up. And he's got some down some reinforcements back at the base. It's going to help. Um, but it looks like the lost, that hive's down, that hive's down, that hive's down. Clear it. Go on, get those guys in there. Come on, boys and girls, you can do it. So they're going to go in there. The bugs have basically have been drained of their strength and their fury to take you out. So now a quick push in, a few nice. explosive charges, and the hive is gone. And importantly, the, the Federation respects this. So it gains two, two war support for that, which is very useful. Yeah, this is very good, but 50 minutes left. Yes, no pressure. All right, so now we are going to another base. Yeah, so what he, did by, take, what he did by taking that big bug hive now is he's bought himself a bit of space, a bit of breathing space around his uh, main defensive lines. So what he's got to do is go and capture that other um, Federation outpost, which comes with more supplies attached. And also... Uh, hive growth. Oh, hive growth. Oh, that's unfortunate. They, they dislike you even more. Oh, and a right big counterattack. Oh, dear, Edmund. The pressure just keeps growing. <laughs> well, I think he will need some new toys soon. Yes, he will. Um, what, what he's going to do now is see he, he's got um, more supplies and he, he's got a few more defenses, but he's got that hive just to the left of where he is now that's kind of sat in between behind his lines. So I, if I know Ed, when he's going to go and secure that space. Ah, so what he's actually doing here is he's using his dropships for a bit of strategic maneuver. Um, so he's pulled those uh, units back into orbit, which gives him a bit of supply back. Um, but he needs to undo some. Uh, HMG turrets to get the war support back, which will now let him call down the might of the Marauder. Nice. So, so this is, this is what I was waiting for. Yes. So if everyone, everyone who's watched uh, Starship Troopers 3 uh, will recognize the M11 Babar Marauder. Um, and whilst these guys are recognizing that tankers are no joke, um, the Marauder is here with its uh, Vulcan cannon and uh, boss machine gun to basically make the bugs pay. So unfortunately, you see, it can move, it can fight, it can't shoot upwards, which is unfortunate. There's no, it's not very good at aerial bombardment, but that's what rifle troopers are for. Makes sense. Yes. So everyone's going to bring in the big guns now, literally. Yes. Um, but yeah, I really love it. Yes. So he's going to secure this area from these bugs. But these warriors are no threat at all to, to a marauder. Wow. Oh, look at that. Look at those. You can shoot fly. in any direction. Yes. It's amazing. So you see, I see, see that hive has been pretty much shut down within seconds. Yeah, they're getting the decimated. Oh, will he make that? Oh, that's going to be close. Uh, yeah, he made it, I think. Oh. Yes, Edmund. Yes, nice. You are, you are still alive. <laughs> so now, now he's, so he's done what the um, Federation wanted, which is basically he's closing down hives. But he's now got a new objective which is not just to clear all the hives, but also to activate the Wavebreaker cannons on the Xperia perimeter. So it's what, kind of proceeding to the next tell us about this cannon? So the Wavebreaker cannons, um, you'll also remember, possibly from Starship 3, uh, defending the outpost there. They are very big guns, shall we say, is a very subtle <laughs> way of putting it. Um, but they're currently cut off. The uh, defending forces um, did, couldn't secure them when the bugs attacked earlier. Uh, so his job is to push forward reactivate the controls and use them to stop the bug attacks that are coming, currently coming in. If you look on the minimap, you can see the arrows in the southeast. So there's bug attack waves coming from that direction. So he's now securing some little um, supply caches around the, around the map to buy himself a few more, bit more supply headroom, uh, which is used almost instantly. That's how, that's, how, that's how good he is. Oh, and the bugs appear to be taking his base back. Oh, that's unfortunate, Edmon. They appear to have wised up to your cunning plans. So I think he might be about to go into negative supply. He is. <laughs> Next supply is no bad thing. Yeah, he'll, he'll be fine. Edmond knows what he's doing. Um, but it does mean that he's not going to be able to summon any new troops until he gets into positive supply yes. again. I mean, this is dangerous, but not a, it doesn't necessarily mean that's the end of the mission. No, no, it, 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 it's the kind of thing. If he, he can go back there and retake that, those bases, um, I entirely I have lots of faith in him. Um, but I'm not sure his troopers necessarily do right at this moment in time. Run away, little man. Ah, I can make it. Uh, so what, yes, so what, what so. He, but the mistake Edmond made here is that whilst there weren't many, oh dear, there's several oh, mistakes yeah. everywhere. Oh, Edmond. He'll be fine. His, his marauders there, he'll be fine. 
those engineers, not so much. By the way, uh, how many types of marauders do we have in the game? So we have three. So currently, Edmond's got two on the, on the board here now. He's got the one with the Vulcan cannon, which is um, basically spits out um, high quantities of fire, very good for suppressing the bugs and slowing them down. Um, and then he's got another one down there with a howitzer attached, which is basically a very good anti-armor long range uh, weapon, especially for taking out. What's um, your favorite one? Oh, I, I've, actually, I like the one he hasn't got, which is the flamethrower, which maybe we'll see later. So he's currently got down some engineers to come and try and secure his main base because he's still getting raided. Uh, so yes. To be fair to Edmond, we have set, we have asked him to uh, set him a reasonable challenge here. Yes. Well, I mean, he's doing well. He is, but yeah. he has ten uh, minutes left. Yeah, but it might be a kind of a uh, noble uh, discharge, but yeah, we'll see. <laughs> uh, so yes, there's a good force pushing forward. He's lost his other forces, he's lost two bases, he's still clinging on to two other bases. But he has two marauders. He has two marauders. And they are the advancing. So yes, they are advancing. He's got, uh, actually, those troops there are a decent support, but I don't think he's got any more uh, fleet liaison. I think she may have bought the farm. She has. So he's unsupported, but he, as I said, he has all the cannons. And he, ah, that's some, oh, he did well there. Ooh. So what you saw in the, may have saw in the middle there, is a very big warrior book. Uh, that very big warrior bug is a royal god um, who are big and scary and get really, really angry. Um, he's currently doing a very good job of focusing it down with that uh, how it's a, how it's a um, marauder. So, oh, so, so the second bar that we see above the unit is like a second wing. Yes, it's again kind of the the incline full classic um, big boss uh, manner. Uh, the royal god has kind of two health bars. You get rid of the first, it gets quite angry. You have to get rid of the second. Nice dodge there. Yes, oh, they're coming for the thing is, Royal Guard, if you don't take them down on one of the few units, then the bugs are to look at them really seriously damage a Marauder. So he's uh, having to fight on two flanks at once now. But he's doing a good job. Oh, he is, for sure. So he, yeah, he's uh, pushing forward. He seems to have broken the back of it. He needs to get some troops up there to capture that terminal to get the Wavebreaker online. If he can get the Wavebreaker online, then he's got a bit of that bit of extra additional fire support right next to this hive. So that's a wonderful place, but it's a dangerous place to go. I bet you go, oh, hello, my royal guard. Oh, did they make it? Oh, I think he stopped them just in time. Um, if, basically, if a royal guard can make contact with uh, some like, rifle troopers, their attacks tend to be quite um, large. You yes. tend to have a lot of bodies at once, which is unfortunate. But there you go. Oh, is he going to dodge? He's good. Those rifle troopers can maybe make it. Yes. Come on, Edmond. Can make it. Come on. We believe in you. Come on. So he's captured that terminal, get it online, that'll bring the next Just wave a couple more online. seconds. Is he going to survive? Puzzle Ooh. everywhere. Oh, the, the hopper's interrupted him. The hopper's interrupted him. Yes! Yeah, so our power is online, the wave breakers are firing. And we also gain one war support. Which is a wonderful thing, so there you go. So those wave breakers are very heavily armored, very nice. heavily armored, so they are just going to... <laughs> I, really, I really like how the approach of the Federation is just build bigger guns. No, well, who wouldn't build bigger <laughs> guns? Um, so the important thing now is that's kind of supply, uh, secured for him that flank that was coming from the southeast, so we can now start turning the corner, pop when that royal bug pops out right next to all his rifle troopers. Run away, boys and girls. Uh, so what people may have noticed, um, this level now, which different to the uh, Steam Next Best demo, has um, lots of voiceovers in it. Yes. Uh, so the troopers are much more characterful. They are shouting where the marauders have their voices as well. Um, and in the keeping with the Starship Troopers universe, there's um, soldiers of any, every type. Yes. The, the, the Federation. Is Everyone is doing their Everyone part. Everyone does their part. Yes. And we respect that. Ah, so that, that's another use of the dropships that everyone's doing there. So he's got, he had some units there that are in the backfield. They've been defending the main base, they're quite experienced. He's using, he's basically asking for the fleet to a bit strategic move, call that guy from the backfield to his midfield to help secure that middle base. And there they go. Uh, so yeah, so he, if you can, he's keeping these guys here uh, because the tankers arrived like that. Oh dear, that tanker in your base might be a trouble, Edmond. Told you. Ah, uh, that's not ideal. No, I think oh, the oh. HMGs have good armor piercing, but it's going to be tight. <laughs> I don't know one surviving. Oh, there it goes. What's he bringing down? What's he bringing down? Who's in the ship? Who's in the ship? It's a fleet liaison. I think it's just kind of Is she going to bomb it? No, she's going to summon a thing to get out of there. Run away. <laughs> oh, I think he's just survived. I think he has just about got away with that. Yeah, probably. So he's going to move his troopers back to the base. Oh, come on, troops. 
He's being helped. He's, he's got a HMG there up on the turret, <laughs> which I think is his last best hope. Come on, come on, you can do it. Oh no! Oh no! Yes! Oh, yes! Yes! yes. Oh, oh, no. Come on! Away. Oh, it was all so close. <laughs> oh, here come the engineers. That was a very violent effort. He is. He's, he's, oh dear, and there's a bit of a flank. Oh, this is unfortunate, Edmond. We had so much faith. We had so much hope for you. Um, <sighs> uh, possibly need a bit more tube. Oh, you can summon, you can summon a flame uh, marauder to your main base there, Edmond, if you wanted to. You can summon a main flame, a flame this marauder. This is a very desperate a defense. Jump, come on. Jump. Yes! Yeah, there we go. That's what we do it. Well done, Nice Edmond. job, Commander Edmond. And as you said, because he'd secured that flank here with the Wavebreakers, He's actually, his advanced horse here were quite secure because he's got that um, uh, Wavebreaker support. The Royal Guard is still really very angry. So there you go. So we've got to now push forward, try and push the last of the bugs out of that hole. There's a good full tunnel over there, so he's going to um, take quite a bit of heat, I think. Like that, as he would say. So I think the problem is now he's having, he's having to move outside of the cover of that Wavebreaker. Yes. Uh, plasma incoming, and Marauders don't really care. Um, yeah, fine, the less of the trooper is not quite so alarmed. Those hoppers are being uh, really sure now because yes. the, the marauders can't really do, any, do much against them. No, and no, those are, I think that was what, seven of them? Yeah, so yeah. they had the, had the unexpected result. And this is the point where losing those bases earlier is really starting to bite because uh, he can't field that many units because he's missing what, about 10 supply for not having those bases. Request, so here we go, let's see, this is his next rank of push forward. Another wave. Yes, come on troopers. So he's basically, those marauders are there, they're kind of fine, um, but unsupported, there's a good chance they're in trouble. And that hopper, that hopper high swarm is going to cause <laughs> real really, issues when yeah. that trooper arrives. <laughs> I really like how they're, how they're just circling yes, above them, like ah, vultures or something. He has managed to get some upgrades there for his uh, troopers though. And he's sensibly using attack move. Um, so he's uh, um, infantry as the hoppers fly over the top of that uh, cliff, the infantry are engaging. Old Royal Guard, two Royal Guards, one of each uh, Marauder, and the Plasma goes, oh, it's all going off. And the, unfortunately, Fleet Liaison has been a bit too brave. Oh, well, these things happen. Well, you know, <laughs> officers need to, you know, to lead she, by she, example. She leads from the yeah. front. It's a really, really good way to go. That's what, um, the, that's what the mobile infantry wants. Precisely. It, it, she's there to, she's there, and the Fleet aren't just for flying, they're also for dying. Yes. So there we go, so there we go. It's, it's, coming on, it's coming in a bit more support now. Um, the Marauders, unsurprisingly, can't fit into the bug tunnels, uh, so you do need some infantry support to get in there. Um, but he's doing a decent job, lots of fire and flame and brimstone coming out of there. In go his troopers, can they clear it? It's got to be close, there's a chance, because he's done a lot of damage here. Go on, Edmond! Bang, bang, bang! Yeah! Nice, boys! Good work, sir. Well done. So, he's got four minutes on the clock from what I can see. Yes! Um, he's got... Uh, one more bug hive and one more plasma and three more control terminals to activate. That's a tough ask. I, 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 oh, he's, he's, got, he's not and seen that drone hive. Either. He's not seen that drone hive. Incoming drones. Oh, but his troops have saved. Troops have got it. Saved him there. That fleet is going to get in the face. I think oh, more group. Oh, the pistol. Good. The pistol saved her. Oh, yeah, yeah, well yeah, done. They did. Well done, liaison girl. And here come the tax strikes to really polish it off. There we go. That's she done. knows what she's doing. And down goes that plasma bug. Nice. Lovely work, Edmon. We never lost nice. space. Nice. Come on. So there you go. That's the, that's the next base coming online. This one has no supplies attached. It's kind of just a little mini forward base. But importantly, you can get new troops to it, uh, which is kind of his key bit because he's kind of out of, out of her support radius. Next pair of and here's online. the mortar coming online. More war support. So he's got three minutes and two terminals to capture. Yes, although possibly High Command would give us a bit more time. No. I, I'm are, not are sure. I don't, know, I don't know. I don't are, know. are you saying there might be more than they want to do with this? No. I don't know. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. Well, here you go. He's engaging well. So he's got that other terminal over on that far side, which is where, if you remember, he got wiped out trying to take that base. So I, I would expect some opposition over there. I personally made the mistake of going, oh, it's fine, I'll just send a little set, a set of troopers over to secure it and never hearing from them again. Oh dear, Fleet Liaison, come on. Back you go, back you go. Oh, that's what we like. Oh, that's, that I officer that is very, that I officer is one fire. of the best officers Ooh, I've ever seen. down they go. That's unfortunate. Yeah. But they gained some experience from it, so, you know, yeah, they, they yeah, all went yeah. up. I like it. I mean, 
Friendly fire is the only right? No, it, it, it's, it's, it's an instructive lesson. Yes. <laughs> So it's a grenade down there, that also, that also, not only does it hurt the bugs, it slows them down as well. By the way, uh, I just want to mention it. It's rather obvious, but as you can see, bugs can scale and climb walls. Yes, oh yeah, so they are um, not keen on... Well, it's a classic Federation thing, they build a very efficient outpost wall, which just happens to be the perfect size and shape for bugs to climb. Which is just, just unfortunate, I think you'll find. Uh, but yes, they don't respect those walls. They won't, don't need to go around them, they will go over them. So here we go, he's going down off his last base. Oh, but unfortunately, as you can see, this is at full four pips now. These bigs are, these bugs are really not happy. <laughs> oh, you'll also notice that um, the Marauder being a bit taller doesn't really respect the line of sight rules. Yeah, and it's just yeah, shooting yeah. over top of everything. That makes sense. And here comes all the bombs. There you go, M bomb. That's what we want. Nicely done. Suppressive fire. Look at those little corpses. Oh, so many corpses. Come on, you can do it. Come on. Sorry, he's definitely got the upper hand here. Yes. Um, he's a. I think he may have lost his actual main base, two base. So he's lost four bases, um, but he's still in, he's still in the fight. So that's the good. That's the important bit. He's still in the fight. Yes, unfortunately, Emma. So the problem is um, when you lose bases with technology buildings attached, you can't build that troop again, and you can only have one of the, those buildings on the map at any one time. So you notice that all they're not going to do now is summon more rifle troopers. And there you go. Alright, I, th I th come on, come on, Emon. We're almost there. Come on, come on. I can see High Command waiting. High come Command, on. High Command yeah. waiting for you, Emon. High Command is expecting some results soon. It's now, now or never, Emon. Now or never. Come on, you can do it. It's so close. Maybe not them. It's so close. I, I can, I can see that. I can see the general going to the podium right now, Emon. <laughs> the Sky Marshal wants to. What's it yes, now? The Sky Marshal is unhappy. Oh, so are those combat engineers. Oh, I'm not sure it's gonna work. Oh, he's got away with it. No, he's been eaten. Oh well. Oh, but he's got rid of four pips, got rid of seven pips with the bugs. Got one more roll, guard. Come on. Come on, get I those still troop believe in you. up. I still believe in you. Time is technically up. No, 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 no. No? Not yet. Oh, there we go, everyone. Get in there, get in there. Come on, Getting their guard. soldiers. Oh, lovely grenade. Fantastic yes. grenade to nice. finish. Nice, nice, nice. I think he's managed. He's only gone and done it. Yes. There you go. Three, six. Nice. Come Nine. on. Nine. Last soldier. Come on, boys. One more soldier. You can do it, boys and girls. Come on, boys. Else. Yeah, there we go. Nice. Edmond, you have survived to be employed <laughs> another day. Well done, sir. That's fantastic work. Now you, you, you will be deployed to, be, to even more lethal yes. war zones. Yes. You've, you've proven your ability to fight in more war zones. It's great. All right. Okay, so yes. I think that's. No. I think that's it. Yeah.